Spricus. That could be fake rock. We're installing it. We can move it around. It's kind of a shock absorber. Yeah. All right, so we're back. Um, Going to complete this job today. We've got that squared away where we have the uh, the uh, cable that goes to the tire, which is in the, in the garage area. And it comes off the wall, it goes here, it goes across underneath the concrete and all the way across parallel with this uh, turf, synthetic turf. And it goes all the way back. So we finished this part, and we also have the main water line too that's going underneath. And that's all completed up here in the front. And as you go back here, I'll show you the, what we're going to finish up on the sprinklers back here. So we've got uh, the manifold right here. In the corner, the two sprinklers, the two excuse me, two valves, one for the drip system. You can see there we have the, um, that's uh, to the right is the uh, pressure regular and filter for the drip. And this second one is for the grass, sprinklers for the grass. So, uh, you see here on this tread, you've got two pipes, one for the drip, one for the sprinklers. The drip goes all the way over here and feeds these uh, fruit trees. Those are being irrigated by uh, bubblers, micro bubblers. And then we have sprinklers that could be for the grass. And I'll kind of go over that because we have a uh, kind of a Shape here that's uh, it's like a diamond shape or a pyramid shape. Uh, so we had to do it a certain way because we don't want uh, water going over the neighbors, both neighbors' houses. So we've got a got the. Uh, we're going to install the sprinklers in certain spots, and then we'll go over that uh, very shortly. So what I'm about to show you right now is uh, it's called a swivel joint system and this is a 20 pipe right here it's very flexible but also can hold a lot of pressure if you look at the, the wall the uh, thickness of the pipe but yet it's flexible to that wall there you have this 20 pipe 90 as well as this Marlex so this makes it real flexible and it's good in terms of when you're installing it, you can move it around. It's kind of a shock absorber, so if something hits it. Of course, it's going to be, you know, just below surface, slightly, not much, it's very slightly. Uh, you know, if you run it over with a mower, it can give, you know, be like a cushion down, but or with a weed whacker. Uh, so those are the, the two benefits. It's not that easy to put in, but. If you do it this way, and you get it in there, and then this is going to go here, like that. Okay. Like I said, it's very flexible, see? So you can move it around to where you need it.
So you don't want to clean that up. You don't want to blow it out in the beginning like that because it could get stuck. Stuff could get stuck in here if there's stuff in the pipe. So it's best to take these out and then blow it out. So we're about to wrap it up here. Got the drip, bubbers working. It's good. All right, it's good. Okay, okay. All right. Then uh, we're gonna test the sprinkler one more time. The grass. All right, so we're gonna test the sprinklers now. Business. I like this scenery, it's nice. 